So we're here with some Warhammer 40,000 today. We're playing Space Hulk Deathwing Enhanced Edition. Um, and this Enhanced Edition brings a lot to the table. It brings a whole like suite of customization. It optimizes the way the gameplay actually feels and the way the graphics interact with your uh, graphics cards. So hopefully it won't just turn your uh, uh, computer into a giant molten slag as you try to play. But also they added some new character types, some new enemy types, and uh, a lot of goodies in, in, uh, overall. And we have... A special guest here joining us. We have uh, Milk and Cookies Total War. We have Indie Pride joining us. How you doing, man? What is going on, my friend? How are you? I'm good. I'm I'm stoked to <laughs> to to go through a, a Space Hulk with my battle brother. So it's <laughs> been a, it yeah, it's been a while since we've done Space Hulk. Last time we did it, we checked out the Interrogator Chaplain, and what we're doing today basically is just doing an overview of the Enhanced Edition. Is it going to be worth your time, effort, and energy to reinstall and play? Have they changed enough? Is the gameplay different in any way, shape, or form? What's going on with all these new additions? So, Italian, what are some of the things that they've covered as we appear offline? Because I'm an idiot and forgot to do that. That's fine. Um, Italian, what's going on with the game? What's happening in terms of Enhanced Edition? How have they changed? So, for Enhanced Edition, it looks like they added all these awesome customizations. Like, And I'm taking a look at just the, uh, the Librarian armor right now, and it's really, really cool. Like, they've got the Witch Armor of Elikos. They have all these really cool like references to all these people in the lore, like uh, Elikos is this chief librarian during the um, the Horus Heresy, and he's one of like the chief people that was okay with uh, the Council of Nikea. So you've got all these weapon customizations too, and each and every one of them, again, it's got you know the voice of Elikos. So you've got all these references to all these people in the lore that are important for the, the respective class that's playing them. Like, I mean, if I take a look at Let's take a look at uh, let's look at the assault specialty and go to his weapons and his like mace of absolution. It's got you know uh, Tragen's absolution. And Tragen is this like sergeant from the Horus Heresy that was involved in the uh, Thermos Crusade, which is this big crusade between the Dark Angels and then the uh, the Night Lords. And basically, he takes over for uh, Alahos, who was another guy who's actually referenced in some of these weapons and stuff. I think he's actually in the um, heavy weapon specialist. Let's take a look. Uh somewhere around here. I saw him earlier, but he takes over for Alahos as basically the, the captain of the Ninth Order, or one of the, the many orders of the Dark Angels. So you have a, a lot of really cool like lore references and all this stuff. It's not just simply like, uh, here's some skins. Uh, this one's called Battle Brother. This one's called Forearm Arm Shake. Uh, this one, <laughs> it actually has, oh, there it goes, Alahos Wrath. Steel uh, Rain. <laughs> Steel Rain, Battle Brother. <laughs> for uh, the tactical specialist. So I, I really dig it. Like, so far, at least. I mean, this is as far as you and I have gotten into the game, right? Like, you and I haven't played yet? No, we have not. Well, okay, so I did I did a five-minute run just to test out optimization, which, from that standpoint, it looked pretty good. Of course, we're going to be jumping into gameplay real soon here to test some of that stuff out. The, one of the biggest issues with the game, right, was replayability. Once you play through the game once, where the hell do you go from there? Now, this right. is adding a whole host of new options that not only are going to change the visual aspects of your Terminator, they're going to change how you actually play. And there's a lot of stuff here. So you can increase the capacity of Weapons Magazine by 50%. That is a very impactful buff. you got to spend money for it. Another question we're going to be looking to answer, hopefully we'll get an answer in this playthrough, how is the economy? So it says 7,000 renown is what's required to increase this high cap mag. Is that a lot? Is that a little? Is that three games or is it 50? Obviously, right. if it's an obscene economy where you can't actually get your dudes cool stuff, it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole system, right? And I don't know about you, Italian, I'm not going to be playing a hundred more games of Space Hulk Deathwing. I don't think it's a bad game, but I'm not that interested in it. So it's one of those things where if you have that carrot at the end of the stick that's close by and you can attain that, you can reach that, that's awesome. That's going to be something I'm looking forward to and I'll definitely put in some games. If it's insurmountable, unachievable, I don't give a crap. So we're going to be looking to answer right. that one as well. Definitely. Because, I mean, like, at the end of the day, this is, this is like, Vermintide is fun to play alone because it's got a really good optimized server that you can join in with people on a quick battle basis. Uh, this game is really, really fun with friends um, or not. You know, I mean, like, it's not fun to play if you're if you're just trying to, oh, I'll, I'll quick battle alongside trying to see if I can get get in with someone like you can with Vermintide. It doesn't work that way in this game, so I totally agree. Um, so let's kind of, let's see how this works out, right? There is an obscene amount of customization here though. Like I'm looking at all this right now and there are tons of different skins for every single weapon, every single power fist, sword. You can change the colors on your absolution mace. Uh, you can change oh, yeah. the colors on your force sword. You can customize a lot there. So 
hopefully, and I've always thought that the core gameplay in Space Hulk Deathwing was decent, but there were elements of it that were bad. There were some that was awesome. The atmosphere is one of the best things about Space Hulk. The way Absolutely. you walk into the Space Hulk, you see these gigantic, sometimes claustrophobic, but sometimes truly epic chapels and stained glass windows, and you just get a bunch of different variety there, and it's awesome to see the 40K universe brought to life, and that's certainly the best thing about the game overall. But the core gameplay, where the shooting is sometimes a little dodgy, Melee is far and away worse than Vermintide and some other oh. <laughs> uh, Melee games that I've played. It's whiffy, it's weird. So have, has any of that changed? Has, has, has any of that been improved? Again, we're gonna be looking to check that out. So we're gonna go into multiplayer here, and I'm gonna host one up, let Italian join me, and we're gonna do, do you wanna do one of the special missions, or how do you wanna handle this? I don't know. Uh, I'm open for a special mission, and we'll see what it's like. Hopefully, it's probably just going to kick us right in the dick, but I'm excited about that. Yeah, the so time. the special missions are something that were, was not added in the Enhanced Edition. Special missions were actually invented or brought into Deathwing, I guess, two or three patches back. So they've been in the game a while, but what they do is basically just put a modifier on top of an already existing chapter. So think of a normal chapter, you'll have normal objectives. The special mission will add some kind of twist on top of it. So you might have multiple Broodlords in the course of a run. You might have a bunch of cultists, like the new guys that just came, these big hulk, hulked out monstrosities that run at you with these huge scythe weapons. There's a couple new enemies here as well. There's a new strain of gene stealer that blows up bioform explosion that kind of like covers you in purple goo, which is pretty hot. But there's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of new stuff there. So again, let's see if any of it actually makes you want to come back to Deathwing. I think in terms of replayability, you know? certainly a lot there, but is the gameplay any better? That's the question. I, I think they also added assault specialists because I don't remember playing a character that only had like maces, swords, hammers, and lightning claws. Like, dude. This no, is assault cool. assault specialist was there. You could bring you could Okay. You could yeah, because he that was there from game one. You could or from day one. You could rock with lightning claws and he actually has a teleport ability, so you can actually deep strike technically oh, go right. across the map and stab someone in the face. Problem with that of course is that melee is probably one of the weaker aspects of this game. So I so, much prefer to play range. Uh what do you want to what class are you playing by the way? Are you gonna do assault? So game? you thinking I shouldn't be the mace guy that I have selected right now? <laughs> I think maybe assault would be well no, no, no. assault is fine. I think if you're playing like assault cannon, but if you're talking like uh lightning claw terminator just get up and that's all you're doing. Uh, stab people in the face that might be a little dangerous. I think we need an apothecary. I can play that if you don't want to play it I, I I'm totally down to play apothecary if you want to be assault. Whatever's whatever's clever. I'm I I love Being the healer. All right. I think that's classic. So I'll, I'll rock We won't have a librarian because we're rocking duos and that's why we're not gonna do special missions because they're a little bit YOLO for what we're rocking with right now, especially if we're just doing duos and Honestly, this game can be a little bit challenging even though I'm not sure how much of it is skill-based versus just like you just get murdered because you get murdered and there wasn't much you could do about it anyway. With a full mm -hmm. squad, there's certainly a lot more tactics you can employ here, but with just two, uh, we just need to cover each other's asses because uh, we're going to have the hordes descending upon our heads. So <laughs> you want to do uh, Apothecary and I'll do Assault Cannon and we'll just switch out if we feel we need to? Yeah, okay. If you're going to do Assault Cannon, then I... Because you can choose Redemption. Um, Bolter, Storm Bolter, basically it's Redemption Frag Rounds and they, uh, they're they better at just clearing out um, soft target, so I'll just go Storm Bolter to help us, like, just kind of have some consistent downrange shots. Okay. Sounds good. I am ready, Battle Brother! Steel Rain isn't coming to the Space Hulk! <laughs> oh. It's <laughs> cool because right. the Assault Marine, actually, uh, or the Assault uh, Terminator, is Deathwing. That's why his gauntlet on his, well, my right, the, the Terminator's left arm, um, is the Ordo Zenus, like, Deathwing gauntlet. It's pretty cool. To so our operation. Gene stealer we'll human hybrids out. attempted mm -hmm. to propel a part of the space hulk into a gravity well. After a difficult battle, we defeated them. And we destroyed many nests that were supplying the enemy with constant reinforcements. As the aliens fell before our assaults, we gathered more precise information about the location of the ancient ship from Lost Caliban. We drew much ire from the Xenos, but matched it with our righteous hate righteous and thrust hate. towards the ancient battle. Signal like a blade into the heart of our foes. So that apothecary, is, is it called a Narthicum on your left hand? 
Narthesium. Narthesium. So is that just supposed to get stabbed into a battle brother and make him all healed up? Is that how that works? Uh, it's got a lot of uh, applications. The biggest one is that it harvests uh, the gene seed from the throat and chest of any fallen brother. Battle brother! There's like a, basically a small little chain sword on it, and it cuts open those two portions to harvest the gene seed, and it puts into a little vial that can then be used to make uh, more space marines in the future. So it basically just sucks their throat out? Uh, it's a, that's probably an easier way to think about it. So, <laughs> like, does he drill it in, or does he just, like, go and just stab it right into his neck? He cuts a huge cavity down their, their chest and neck to get it out. Like, and it's got a little thing in there that, that'll extract the, uh, the gene seed itself. The gene seed, just think of it like, it kind of looks like a, like a little, uh, it's like a, like a, like a mass. It almost looks like a, like a tumor, basically. Is a, is a good way of thinking of it, um, in the throat and in the chest. Gives a whole new meaning to the phrase deep throw, am I right, boys? <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Demonetized. <laughs> Demonetized. So what are we going to do here? What is the Not game plan? sure. So let's see. Uh, pressed M. Briefing. Uh, you must secure the site and investigate the beacon's origin. Proceed with caution, brother. The secrets of the past pursue us. Good to know. So... Most important thing in terms of uh, Dark Angel's battle tactics is you quickly sprint away from your teammate, leave them to die as you run away and get the hell out of the scary space hole, right? I just press F so you just keep hearing me yell at you, follow me, brother! No, you press F to pay respects, dude. Come on. Up. Oh, come on. I just, I'm so stupid. I'm glad you're leading the way. I'm okay back here. You look good back here. You're, you're fine from this, from my angle. Assault cannons lead the way. Uh oh, we got, we got those, plenty going those... in. When those things spit up, spin up too, it's rad. Yeah, so we are playing Codex rules, by the way, which means that we won't be leveling up in-game. We're stuck with whatever weapon and class we chose. So, we won't be able to switch out. Can't do any changing out. Like, if you need a Apothecary at a certain point, you can't get called out and then go back in with a Deep Strike or whatever. You have to just stick with whatever. Oh, okay, that's terrifying. Don't worry, I wasn't changing my audio settings in the middle of that. You're fine. <laughs> Dude, I got this, bro. Okay, I need to back up. There's a lot of coming. I'm gonna shoot you in the in the back. Shoot through me, oh brother. Oh my god! Use me as your shield. I am reloading. <laughs> so the nice thing about the assault cannon, I've got 400 rounds of pure DPS. So anything that comes my way is gonna get mulched up. I got but pure once, 60 rounds of storms. Once they get in close, I'm gonna give them the fist, bro. Give them that Dude, big old lightning fist. Getting that Q fist right in the face. Mmm. Bro, come back. <laughs> Dude, I'm just sprinting away. I'm leaving you behind. You're too Nobody slow. Nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> One thing I've always kind of struggled with in in any any interpretation. Oh, I'm left behind you. I got you. Got, got my back, dog. Like kind of. Oh, dude, wow. The melee is way different. How so? Well, okay, so they actually explode for like. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying, bro. Okay, so. Jesus, those okay, so keep keep a look out yeah, for the, those the guys. They're the like purple, chirping. The purple dudes, don't let them blow up on you. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh. Okay, two heals me, that's right. Three heals you, I think. Um so try let, let something get close to you. Hopefully ah. Yeah. See, like it actually like does some serious damage now. Mm. Mine does a little bit more because it's got a bunch of crap. Oh my god, what is that? Uh that was a cultist? That was a little uh, uh there was a lot more than that, bro. Oh my god, dude. Dude, that, that was a legitimate whale. That's... Are we that's even going the right way? Uh... You, you pressed M. That was your job, right? Now we are. Okay. We are going the right way now? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> They're I think you're moving... Okay. Yeah, just go that way. We'll be good. We'll, we got, we'll figure we, it out in post. We got a rocket. This uh, might uh, be a 45 minute video. Might yeah. be a back two up, back and a half up, back hour up. one. I got a trip mine down. Well, that is a Psyker, and he is no longer alive. But yeah, the so the the melee combat seems to be a lot more effective now. Well, we're playing on normal, so that might be harder. Uh, I'll take it though. Like even a normal last time, I wasn't taking, I wasn't doing any damage at all. Any damage at all. So up oh, behind us a little bit. Well, yeah, yeah behind us. Back. I got the I got the front. Now that's fun. That is really fun. That's a new ability. It's basically just barrage. You get to uh quickly get super high bursts of like a hundred rounds per second and that, that that's gonna absolutely slaughter anything that comes your way from the front uh, i think the rocket's down that hurt though take some damage yeah, i got you 
Yeah, if you we were playing on hard difficulties, I'd probably already be down, but... Battle Brother, healed! Oh, a little bit behind us. Yeah, so the, I, I'm actually kind of... I dig the melee. It actually is... I'm not feeling stupid for pressing Q now. Okay, so I have a couple problems with the way melee is designed in Space Hulk. One, it's a little bit whiffy, so you can very often take out a force sword or a or a fist and just punch someone or slice them up, and the way they react, the way they move when they get hit, doesn't really seem like you're hitting them. With, like, a force sword would absolutely carve a path of red ruin to anything coming your way. Like, a force sword is crazy. Like, they're extremely powerful weapons. And oh, yeah. sometimes you don't really end up feeling like they're that strong. We need to find a new position. Get out of um, here. Oh god. I'm gonna put a mine down there. I'm running away, I'm scared. Yeah, I mean and everything up to up to eighth edition stopped it, but the force sword used to outright kill people if it hit them in uh in the actual tabletop, so I totally agree with you. <clears throat> Although I, like I said, I'm hitting people well. When when you when you compare it to other games, when again I think Varmintide Good or bad is probably the best comparison to what we have here in Space Hulk Deathwing. I think the melee system is just much, much less in depth. Which, to be fair, the game is meant to be focused on shooting. That's exactly, exactly. like they're Terminators. At the same time, though, melee is a gigantic portion of 40k. Like it's a really oh, yeah. important component of the lore. It's an important component of their fighting styles. And if you don't have a good melee system in place, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. It's just not good. And I don't know that it's yeah. satisfying, and you really want it to be very satisfying and immediate and impactful, and I don't always feel that way. Watch out. Dude's, dude's uh, LeBron James dunking on you from behind. Oh, coming in from deep. Oh, God. This guy's going hard in the paint over here. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll totally agree with that. Like, yes, Terminators are supposed to, like, Terminators that are not, and like, You just uh, probably fired the titties off his own teammate. Oh, God. Like, he had... He had some titties out, and then they were gone after he got some cards. Left and right, just boom, boom. <laughs> it's gone, bro. Uh, you need a, the apothecary needs an apothecary. I guess that's the thing. Yeah, that's right, man. I can't help. I'm, conf you. I'm confusing you with my words. <laughs> All right, go. I'm gonna place um, my behind us. But no, I totally agree because yes, these these terminators in specific are supposed to be not like the best at melee, but they're still supposed to be scary in melee. Um, the assault terminators are the ones that really just kind of wreck house. That's why I want to try out the uh, the tactical one to see if if maybe his mechanics, because he can only do melee. I mean, I feel like he's got to have something that makes him a little bit more cool than just pressing Q. I mean, he can mulch through stuff for sure. I think I think it's scary to play on harder difficulties. It'd be completely fine on normal, but because you can get one shot down really easily in this game. Um, yeah. Oh, if you're man. playing on a hard or especially whatever nightmare the highest one is. Yeah, I mean, this, those Tyranids, you hit them center mass. Which is weird, because these are not all gene stealers. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jason Rice, Batman! <laughs> Rattle brother, I am bleeding profusely. Um, they're not There's all no gene coming stealers. back from this! Oh, God. Oh, look at these lovely little things that take a full... This has got to be the best canister. It can take a full shot of Stormbolter. Nice. Oh, behind you, behind you! <laughs> Oh god, oh my god, where did they, like seriously, where did this all come from? Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna turn on the no jam, no weapons jamming. Oh, I turned my my light on, we're good, don't worry. Yeah, I just turned my light on. I couldn't illuminate our doom, brother. Yeah, so my abilities are, one is barrage fire, two gives me a mine, and that was put in, I think, last patch, these new abilities for some of the classes. And then, hey, um, three should... is I can't melt, my weapon can't malfunction. Oops, we should go. Gosh, I'm back. Okay, so, where do we go? Oh, oh! You know, for how many gigantic Tyranids just came up behind you, they were incredibly silent. I don't want to totally agree with that. Let me check my map real quick. I can't find where this beacon is. Usually it's like a little thing. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! I should be doing a better job protecting you. <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm alone here, Andy Brian. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it says find the beacon. Okay, well I yeah. see where the beacon is. You know how to back up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see where the beacon is though. It's in I the see pulse. No, it's in the dissecting room, 301B. 
Don't, call, don't talk to me like that. That's, <laughs> that's disgusting. You know, you know how to scroll, scroll back. Uh, you know how to back up, right? Like yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it. The, those little pulses on the map are Tyranids. No, the yellow, the big yellow icon, man. I don't have a big yellow icon. What? Okay, maybe because it's just because I'm host. So I, I guess I have, to do, I have to do the M thing. Because I'm sitting here like looking like, where the hell is this thing? God, we're so bad, LMAO. All right, let's throw. Oh! I'll put a mine down. Ah! Back up, back up. Oh, you need some love. Here you go, bro. Thanks, bro. All oh right. my god. So 301B. I'll direct us there. I'll direct us there. You know Somewhere. where it is now? Alright. 302B. Oh, okay. Oh I, see it, I, see it, I see it. I see it. Oh, Jesus. And so Fire. far away. Brother, look! There's death and destruction! All right, we're gonna go this way. Yolo, dude. Oh, I look at waste handling. Okay, I'm just gonna follow you. You, you seem to know where you're going. No, I, dude, I don't at all, man. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, I thought you looked at it and saw it. Okay. No, I you did. Like this, this is a way, maybe. But like the thing is, these it's a space Hulk, right? Like it's supposed to be weird and not. You, you're supposed to not yeah. know where you're going. And some of these doors are locked and shit. Ah! I'm, ooh, oh, to be a man. Oh, I'm a man. Yeah, that's what Terminators are usually like in the war, right? They just scream. Yeah. They, they're Every so dainty. Shows up, they're like, ah! So dainty. <laughs> I need to put on my dress and wear my makeup today. Watch out. You got it. I mean, to be fair, I would totally be screaming my head off if I had these things running. I mean, it's absolutely terrifying. But right, I'm also right. not in like a ton of ceramite armor that can stop. Well, that's the problem I have is like, this does a good, good game. It does a good job of like kind of Oh, that didn't do well for me. All right, it does a good job of like kind of trying to like convey the gravity and like the girth uh, of someone in tactical dreadnought armor. You know what? What uh, these guys? What this stuff's called? Yeah, it's got some sense of weight to it. That's for sure. But like when I play like a Dawn of War or when I play like uh, Space Marine did a good job. The game Space Marine. Um, I never feel like the Space Marines have any, like, weight behind them, like, but at the same time, in the, in the books, it talks about them moving extremely fast, like, faster than anyone can, can like, Come this way. follow. So I'm like, what the hell is all this shit? Yeah, but Terminators typically don't move that fast, right? They're just kind of like walking tank of the battlefield. They just yeah. walk forward and they mow everything down, which is definitely what right. they do in this game. Ow, I'm getting murdered! I think it's, uh, auto gun. I've heard now. Got it. There you go. All right, 301B. Huh? God damn it! <laughs> oh, cool! I punched this giant. Uh. For the emperor. For the emperor. Yeah, so I'm not really noticing any differences in terms of combat, really. To be honest, like you said, you felt a little bit different in melee. I don't know if that's because you just haven't. I don't. How much have you played? Like, how many hours did you put into it before Enhanced Edition came out? Do you know? Yeah, 15 or so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think I have like I had like maybe 30, 40, um, maybe a bit more than that, maybe closer to 50. But I, I am finding our playthrough of this one more fun. Like, I don't know why. Maybe it's because we're lost. <laughs> but I haven't been able to talk about a whole bunch of things differing from what we're doing right now because. Oh, okay. So yeah. All right. All right I think right. I think I got it. Yeah, yeah, you got if it. it. If, it lets us, if it lets us go that way, yeah. Right. Because, like, I've been kind of more focused on the constant uh, Tyranid threat here. There is no threat if the Emperor walks with us. And he does. I am his sword. Oh, my God. I am God. his clerk. I bring him his shoes to the I, said, I will say that is a very cool particle effect. A purple glow. Oh. It's a good looking game, for sure. It's yeah, got the 40k atmosphere, optimized. for sure. I like the optimization because yes, I don't feel like I'm, I'm running clean at 60 the whole way pretty much so far. Yeah, nothing's yeah. bogging for me. The particle tech effects are clean. Like, I, I still got to get used to like. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. Oh no, no, no. up here. I don't. Uh, we might not be able to go that way. I have a feeling if it's grayed out, it means. Oh, uh, I think you are right, brother. Let us go down and around. That's a big boy. 
I, I wouldn't mind fighting a Broodlord or a Scythe Strain right now. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah, it makes one of us. <laughs> you alright? I'm scared. I mean, this is pretty terrifying, bro. Hold my hand. Hold my goddamn oversized Terminator hand. <laughs> Dude, that would be... There, there needs to be more love stories in 40k, honestly. Between... Like what do you big, mean more love stories? Big, big, big boy Terminator just sharing some big boy robotic love, you know? There's not Dude, enough of that. All of Warhammer 40,000 is a love story between bros. It's just an it's ultimate between, bromance. Between, it's between Horus and the Emperor. <laughs> but Dad, I wanted your love. <laughs> you never yeah, love me enough, please. <laughs> I mean, like, it's just the ultimate bromance, man. Like, bromance, brother, brother. Like, just so much for him, for him grabbing. You're right. It just intense eye contact, like, tell them I lived. No, <laughs> I'll tell them how you died. <laughs> I think you got that mixed up. <laughs> no, no, I got the, I got it exactly how I wanted. Yo, back up, back up, back up. There's gonna be a huge explosion. Oh, oh no. Cool guys, don't look at it. It didn't blow up. There it is. <laughs> oh, dude, he, he didn't even him. care. Oh wow, we mulched those boys. Oh. oh, you mulched them too. All right, one of our battle brothers fell 4,000 years ago, was lost in the warp, had his head chopped off. Dang, he's been, he's seen better days for sure. He looks good though. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, God. Okay, time to, time to go mow, mow him down. Reload, reload. No, yeah, I don't know about you. I, I feel like close combat is, is way more effective. Feels the exact same way. Oh, okay. Which means I'm right and you're wrong, of course. No, honestly, I'll, I'll take it, because I don't recall, last time I played, I don't remember, like, ever using close count, because it, it felt so shitty. Dude, that is the most 40k objective I've ever seen in my life. What did it say? Purge. That's all it says. It just says, go, go purge. Purge the heretic. Purge. Suffer not the unclean to live. Dude, you know, if this was the 40k universe, you would totally be an Inquisitor. Don't deny it. I would absolutely be a picture of Hellspire. I just don't have that epic voice or that epic ravaged body, which is unfortunate. Oh, I would oh, totally be a space marine. I'm sorry, it just it's gonna happen. Burn, heretic. Seriously, we, we when you're playing on normal, it's a different game because those rockets would have murdered me on any of their difficulty. Yeah, seriously. But how am I supposed to know there's a rocket even there? I just um, have to like press, use tactics. If you press uh, M, you can see him on the map, and you can hack them. Oh, no, that's in single player. I don't think you can hack in multiplayer. Dude, you can't hack. You what can't the, hack it. What did you just say to me? <laughs> what do you think you you're are? Not, you, you're not the hacker you once were. Okay, go. We're gonna go straight into that and go left. Oh, uh, wait. This way? You're going. Our, yeah, you're going our way. Okay. Oh yeah. This is. See, this is what I'm talking about. The gothic chapels, the beautiful stained glass, vaunted oh, ceilings. Dude, that's, that's so, so cool. sick. Yeah, that's awesome. The atmosphere is dope, dude. It really is. Yeah, they really nailed it, man. Like, it's terrifying. That aspect <laughs> of it. No, what I have to say though, and I, I have to say it, like I, I don't hate this game, and I'm, I'm not trying to like bash on it all the time, but I would really love a truly fantastic 40k game, and I feel like we mm -hmm. haven't had one in a really long time. Maybe Dow 2 is the last one you could. I mean, there yeah. there might have been some of those like one-off like chess games that might have been really good, but it's hard for yeah. me to get into that kind of thing. I'm talking about like a legit 40k shooter or strategy game that maybe not even strategy. I want I want violence. I want straight I totally up agree. Oh, did, did you play Space Marine? Uh, I did not. That, Space Marine was, was good. very, very good. I think it was like a Dawn of, not Dawn of War, it was like a uh, Gears of War clone. Yeah, storyline so, seemed a little bit cheesy, like a little it bit. It was, yeah. it was, it definitely was. Which, which bothers me because they've got this crack team of writers yeah. that make all these like amazing books that, I mean, why can't you just like shoehorn one of them to help writing this? Like how many amazing Black Library novels do you already have? Just story from one of those it exactly felt, it, it felt a little bit contrived and a little bit like the the main bad guy in that was too much of a i'm evil uh, yeah oh i appear at the right moment and yeah, i can too, too <laughs> much too much of a caricature for me yeah for sure and yeah. that was actually one of my biggest problems with the uh, the third horus heresy novel mm -hmm. uh, which I, I just finished up reading those i, I believe it goes uh horus rising um Oh, no, 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 no. It's, false uh, gods. Yeah, false gods and galaxy and flames. Um, yeah, and, and one of my biggest issues with that, like, I loved, I loved Horus Rising. Dan Abnett's, Dan Abnett's a fantastic author. I think he's really, oh, yeah. really good. 
Um, the first novel was amazing. I liked the second and third ones a lot too. Uh, one of the bigger issues I had though was they were a little bit ham-fisted in the way they described some of the legions. They kind of right. just shove it in your face. Uh, like so, for Emperor's Children, they just every other every other word literally was they perfectly perfect. moved in perfect synchronicity, perfectly <laughs> attacking with their perfect blades, scything through all of their enemies in a perfect storm of fury and penises. It's like, we're like, relax, dude. Like, we no, get that it. Penis is not, like, an exaggeration. Like, the Emperor's Children, it's like, it's borderline, like, you feel like every time that they say a, uh... They're, they're talking they, about how beautiful their sword is. They're talking about, like, other Yeah, things exactly. Too. Like, hmm. <laughs> like the way this is going. This so, uh, it's like, like we, we know, uh, anyone who's read knows 40k lore knows that the Emperor's Children are going to be corrupted by some Nash. They know that stuff. I feel like they don't have to shove it in your face so much. And I understand, like, Oh, it's, God! Yeah, we got a lot coming out of Jesus. I mean, for the Emperor. Jesus doesn't exist in 40k, what am I thinking? Jesus! Uh, Jesus, Emperor! Oh, they're all dying! We got A10 Warthog stuff coming in. Oh, dude! We're at full health, we're at full health, we're good. Because we're bad. <laughs> oh god. I'm in a terrible spot. But yeah, and then when they're talking about like Garvio Loken and the Mortable, it's like, oh, he's so honorable and he's so. Everything he does is so great. Although I guess. Oh! They, they do a decent job occasionally of like the shades of gray. But there's a little bit too much of that in your face, like, this is this guy's gonna be corrupted, so we need to explain how Slaneshi they're gonna be before they become Slaneshi. No! Oh, you're dead! Yeah, dude, those things are exploding all over me. You have 230 seconds to be alone. Oh, that's a really long time. I'm totally oh, dead. dude, you're not looking good. Those things are all over you. Oh! I like how I was, like, casually talking about horse heresy that whole time and you, while you're just being murdered. <laughs> no, oh, like you're trying to fit off. Yeah, but I'm, not, I'm never gonna be able to reload. I can't reload, bro. Oh my god. Q. It's over. Q. It's over. 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 Uh, it's over. There's no surviving this. Oh. So that last mission was kind of a. This <laughs> is kind of ridiculous. Dude, we got absolutely murdered. <laughs> but let's let's. I'm gonna mix things up here. I'm, I want to go with the tactical or uh, the what is it? the hell is this guy? Assault specialist. Is that what it's called? Show Assault me. specialty with the Mace of Absolution. You will bring death. To the I will bring absolution. absolution. Dude, <clears throat> I, I must say that that mace is absolutely gorgeous looking. It's super cool. You're going to bash some heads in with that shield. I, I would do wish there was some kind of push with the shield, which there's nothing like that in the game. But you can certainly clear a path and a hallway with that thing. It's got <clears> a big <throat> shockwave that'll just rip apart any gene stealers that try to come our way. And oh, I will be taking stoked. over the healing duties <clears> as the apothecary. <throat> feel like if you're running duos, you absolutely need to have one because otherwise you just kind of lose in terms of attrition. Uh, if you're not playing codex rules, which to be honest, we probably shouldn't be because <laughs> you can yeah. get more melee, you can get more weapon variety that way. But at the same time, it feels a little bit more right. I don't know. No, I think so. I, I think like that yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're going to start game here and go into chapter two, which is actually the... Mission right before the one we just did. Hopefully we'll be able <laughs> yeah. to run it. Yeah, hope it'll be a little bit easier. We located the ancient Dark Angel ship in the heart of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain, we fought a horde of Xenos as we conducted investigatory missions to uncover this enigmatic vessel. Investigatory? And investigatory? Past. The Deathwing moved to secure entry into the old ship while we overcame the energy and psychic defenses created by the gene stealers. Hard fought was the battle, but the bridgehead had been established and progress to our objectives continued. We are the Emperor's Blade. God, that's so epic, bro. I know, man, like... <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Why can't I... I'm pressing start button to start and it's not... There we go. Yeah, you gotta press a button to do it. Keyboard. <clears throat> All right, Belly, I'll lay it on me, baby. What are we doing? All right, I see where we gotta go. I can actually see it this time. Oh, you were doing it. Bridge 205S. Oh, I see what's up. ...that the hybrids may be able to sever the ship where our squads are currently located to propel it into the gravity well of the nearby planet. I think I've actually done this one. All right, so I'm rocking Hellfire right now. 
I'm drop, drop some drop some lore on me, Daddy. Do you know what the hell a Hellfire is? This is a it's a round, a specific round that actually goes into the storm bolter. Um, and it just basically kind of think of it as a it's like a frag round. It, it explodes and just shrapnels out, does tons of damage to like lightly armored things. Oh, <laughs> lore this, me, Daddy. This is the mission from the beta. Dude, look at this. Just all sorts of just hammering these bells over here. I love how when you hit stuff, I don't hear anything. Hit the ground. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Just, it's, it's, <laughs> ding! <laughs> ding! Oh, Jesus. I'm oh, glad we don't have friendly fire on because you would absolutely pancake me from behind, which, while it does sound like a good time with Ryan, um, I just did it. I don't I really want to be pancake too much. <laughs> you pancake me, bro? Yeah, bro. Alright. Uh, what's the button to, what's the button to... Oh, you can push with the shield. Are you pushing with that? Yeah. I can press, yeah, Q, like shield bashes. Oh. What's the button to defend? Oh, Q. Or control, I see. Oh, yeah, uh, take got, it all on the front. You got boys up top. That's all you, man. Oh, I got him. You, you're my oh, range. Yeah, you, you literally cannot do that at all, can you? Nothing. So, Not you, damn thing. Look, uh, try to do a blink on top of somebody when it comes out cooldown. Okay. Um, you. So you were talking about uh, false gods. You were talking about how you didn't like how, like, ham-fisted it felt. Uh, there were there yeah. are elements of it that seemed a little bit ham-fisted, like they were just trying to shove yeah. it down your throat. Like <laughs> these guys are gonna be corny, and, and there again, like there was a little bit of shades of gray in terms of. So you see, uh, Karn, the what was Karn for the World Eaters? Was he their uh, first he's captain? Like their, he's the uh, Equerry or whatever. Uh, it was. Equerry yeah. to to uh, um to Angron, yeah. Angron. Um, yeah. So there 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 are some shades of gray there. So like you'll see him, and the first time you ever see him, he's not super in your face angry. He's actually very calm and collected and seems like a normal, nice dude. Uh, but then you see him later on the battlefield, of course, and the, the butcher's nails are in his brain and wrecking his face that way. Um, God, it's so cool. Yeah, no, I like Angren and World Eaters lore is pretty cool. Uh, it's very cornate, as you would expect. But yeah, I mean, there there is a lot of that where they're just like, you know that these guys are going to be corrupted by corn, or you know these guys are going to be corrupted by... Um, by Zinch or Slanash or whatever, and just the way the authors describe them, like, yeah, we get it. They're perfect. We get it. <laughs> Everything they do is just in perfect synchronicity. They're always twirling, and they're super beautiful and super awesome. Like, stop showing it down my throat. I understand. Uh, behind you? Yeah, there we got a bunch of rockets. Oh my god. Oh, Hellfire does some serious work, Daddy. Give him the business. Um... Oh, we've well, got stuff behind us. Oh, Hellfire. I thought, for some reason... I told you what redemption was like. Yeah, Hellfire is different. It's like, shoots like basically like little mini rockets. But fuck, as you as you can see, um, and they got people below us too. Uh, what you'll actually see though is like the reason that is like that is because there are certain authors that are like that like uh, certain chapters or certain portions are like are their babies. Like okay. Um, they have a special connection with them. Right, Aaron Dembski Bowden, for example. Go ahead and kill this turret right here. What, is, what did you leave? What is that? I don't know. Kill the turret, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm distracted by the point. thing that's on the ground. <laughs> These glowing things. <laughs> um, like Aaron Dembski Bowden, for example, is like the master of all things. I think I should have to go. Yeah, we'll, we'll try. We'll no, try. I, I, yeah. I know this map like the back of my hand. I've never been, been here before. Oh, God. Um, I should probably lead the way for you. Rangers lead the way. R Rangers lead the way. You'll need my Rangers. Um, but like Aaron Dembski Bowden is like the master of the Night Lords, because he did his trilogy on them and everything like that. Like, uh, you you get certain ones that they just that is like their forte, and they they realize that they realize okay you know maybe this isn't maybe this is not my chapter of my my forte, so I'm not gonna try to go overboard and like trying to create basically a, like a meta or a side uh, lore for them. I'm just going to kind of, yeah, they're super perfect. They're so perfect. Yeah, they're yeah. perfect. <laughs> and, and it becomes, like you said, ham-fisted. So they, they don't really even try to touch on what the other authors do. And that's unfortunate because I, I feel like that that's what makes it good is like having all these different kind of uh, I, can, I can imagine how difficult that is though because you're thinking about how each chapter has just such deep lore and there's a mm -hmm. lot to a lot that goes into that, and 
just so so much more to draw on. When you're talking about like the Horus Heresy, it's kind of an origin story, and they've got so many right. different chapters to cover that yeah, of course, they're going to cover all the chapters quite as well. And they, but they do that. Like they they sit in basically a room and say like, okay, here's the direction we want to take, and they they try to at least make some sort of contiguous. Here, let me give me some health. Give me some health. Oh, uh, we have we have those up top up here. Oh god, those hurt really bad. Please leave me alone. I put my shield up, brother. I put my shield back and forth. I put my shield back and forth. Uh, oh, heal yeah, yourself yeah. and heal me. Mission status acceptable, brothers. Destroy the best Two heals you. Yeah. Yeah. They are coming from the top. Kill them all. Oh my god, look at them, dude. The you shoot them. Oh, you can't. Hell out. From the no, you, I just, I'll hold this shield up. I'll hold this shield. I got you, bro. They are coming. They come from all sides. Drums, drums in the deep. <laughs> they are, I can't get I out. I am a servant of the secret fire. Will of the flame of honor. They certainly shan't pass with me in front of a man. Dude, this shield of absolution is rad. Dark fire will not avail you, Tyranid scum. Hang back in that choke point. Yeah. Oh, we got more rockets. I need to find, I need to get a beat on this yeah, dude. Right here, right here. Yeah, I see. Oh, he's yeah, now in pieces. Just... Sleeping vagina in front of us. Are we supposed to go into that? <laughs> Are we supposed to go into the vagina? Is that seriously a question you're asking right now? What do you think <laughs> the answer is? <laughs> it says destroy the nest. I'm gonna try this big thing. Watch out. Watch out, bro. Oh god, it's just death. Death came to the Tyranids that day. They don't stand a chance, brother. I how, have how do, how do you think them. how do you think two terminators would fare on the space hole? Pretty poorly, right? Oh, miserably. Let's see, what does this do? I went to oh I went to the vagina. Oh, it just brings us back home. Oh, we're healed. Well, let's just leave the vagina. Now. Yeah, I don't know what which ones you've been hanging around, but uh, I don't know very well. That seems like a bit of a yawning chasm to me. Not so much. <laughs> yawning chasm. Not so much the oh. way you're describing it, but I could be wrong. Reminds me of my ex. All right. <laughs> God. Stop. <laughs> Where are Oh, you went over there. Please, no! Oh god. Where, where'd you go? Sounds. I can't find you. You said, oh, you went over there and then didn't know where I went? I, I, thought, I thought I saw you over there, but I was wrong. You were wrong. Coming, coming. Brother! Look where I am, here! Wow, congratulations, you've learned how to walk five feet. Couldn't I found you. Brother, oh, no. were you trying to run for me? <laughs> they don't run for me, brother. Brother, there's explosions! Brother, my health wanes. <laughs> oh, are you dead? I'm, I'm gonna die. Nah, bro, I got you, dog. That's why I'm here. To save your we, here, punk ass. So you can hear me. Just so you can find me. <laughs> <laughs> follow the follow, clinking. Follow the, <laughs> follow Tabitha. Follow the really anemic tapping sounds on the walls. I'm here, Tabby Cat. <laughs> I am the best. I've never lost in the history of the Space Hulk. They have all these like really awesome names, like Strom, like over like their shoulder pads and stuff like that, like Ignatius, uh, like all these great names. And then just imagine one guy just like, yeah, and this is Greg. Bob. Gregory. Lord Gregory. I mean, Gregory has some gravitas, I think. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll go with my original one. Bob. Tabitha. Tabitha. <laughs> Strikes oh, fear you. into the hearts of our enemies. We have a bunch of guys coming down. They're being mean to me, I don't like them. They're being mean to me. Okay, so what does this do? Oh! <laughs> whoa, whoa, dude, how did that... See, like that, I don't understand why that was a critical hit. I. Because it, it exploded makes... all over me? No, I know, but it doesn't... The damage output of enemies doesn't make sense. Sometimes you'll take, like, five strikes to the face and not care at all. Sometimes you'll get one hit down to the head. Uh, I don't... Sometimes I'm that explosion will hit you, and it'll hit you in the dick, and you're like, oh, yeah, that was really fun, and then sometimes... <laughs> My penis! Yeah, they're like, okay, that did nothing. We didn't get any of the relics in here. Sometimes it'll blow you. Uh, I didn't, well, I didn't, wow! Whoa. Pretty and slip. Sometimes it'll blow you. No, I meant sometimes it'll blow you up. Whoa, like, dude, <laughs> that was getting pretty crazy. Whoa, yeah, bro. Oh, I I've Jesus. seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> Janus. I have activated my shield. I have activated my trap card. Oh wow! Brother, I need health. Is that a is that a Terminator thing? 
I feel like that'd be insanely expensive. A, a trap card? No. No. <laughs> it's, a sh it's a force shield. Oh, yeah, mine? Yeah, I, I did it. No. Is it in the lore? Is I'm thinking the lore? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Um, it, it confers like an invulnerable save, so even things that would outright kill them are- Oh, I need brother! Hell, hell you heal me, brother! I'll heal myself first, because I'm more important than you! Yeah, make sure to like, top off in between engagements, because you have like a 60 second count. Brother, this is a Don't tell me what to do. Oh, I found a relic! Oh, we gotta destroy the- oh, did you really? What? Yeah, nice. Major relic, too, no less. Wow! Dude, I just, it blew up, but my my mace made like a ting. <laughs> ah! They're mean. They're they're being very rude to me. I don't like this. Uh, I'm healing. Help! Brother, Help I'm coming. Ah! Uh! I am here, brother. But my aid, my health is low. No, it's not. You're not literally anymore. full health. What does this two button do? I keep trying to press two and it won't Dude, work. Dude, it is a mess here. Look at this, man. Dude, someone's gonna have to clean this up. This is <laughs> this is an outrage, or else they can't have their cookies. There's a lot of intestines. <laughs> you know what? Kind of homey. Kind of like it. All right, now we just gotta make our way back. Just pretty much straight this way. Brother, come. In full sprint, we shall draw. We shall ride. Yeah, because we haven't learned that that's a terrible idea yet, right? Sprinting headlong into every random room we enter. We're, we're seem to be bad, doing okay. Nothing bad could ever happen doing that. Yeah, but we're not at the conclu- the conclusion is always the hardest part. Of any yeah, movie. absolutely. And that's when we're just gonna have to like, jam up the choke point. Jam up the choke point, bro. Fuck your door. I hope you Yeah, we're supposed to be like super- closet tactical and close those behind us so they can't come from that direction and all that and just like nah just kill it kill the door really because there's certain point there's certain doors that just won't open and i didn't know that that was a thing no, like the more doors you break down the more like oh brother fine let's run over here yeah let's go let's go linearize the horde is the game plan oh they're coming you want to hit that guy or are you just gonna stand out no 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 he's little looking pretty yeah, I'll give, give him the give him the business. Take the hammer. Give him a daddy. I am the emperor's sword. His shield. I am his buttermilk biscuit on the weekend. <laughs> Literally doesn't make any sense, but I love it. <laughs> you don't know a goddamn thing about being a Terminator. <laughs> no, learn the lore. Biscuits are learn the lore, dude. They are the. Kill yourself. Whoa. Okay. That escalated quickly. Feels bad. I need an imposter carry. <laughs> Heal yourself, douchebag. I'm leaving you. Come back. No, but seriously, kill yourself. Cause it takes like, 60 seconds. Cause that way, when we come to the final fight. Final fight. <laughs> oh shit, we went. Uh, we gotta go. This, oh, up can, and to the right. We can go this way. This way. Bro, oh, I've done this, mate. I'm gonna follow you, mate. Oh, I'm being turned. Oh. I got my oh. shield up. Oh god. It's so hard oh Jesus play. Christ behind! Is that a lick door? It was like cloaked. God. Maybe we got some Yimgarl gene sealers coming our way? Oh my god, on, this is terrifying. Uh, is it dead? I think it's dead. Oh, that's not dead though. Now it is! Oh. They're so silent, dude. They're so sneaky. They're just. They're, just, they're worse than the rats! Uh, oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? Terrifying terror. Oh god. Yeah, those explosions hurt really bad if they're right on top of you. Yeah, they really, they really mess you up. That's what got me, like, four of those back-to-back. -back. More of them, more of them. We need to, we need to run, bro. Run! Split it! Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit quiet for a tank. It weighs what, what do you think this thing weighs? 2,000 pounds? 1,500 pounds? Oh man, tons, several tons. It's even, they even say, like, a several tons. Like, this is a several ton heavy thing. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not that oh. big. It's it's the fact that like the uh it's the density of the metal itself is like super super heavy. Uh, <laughs> we're so, not that big. So we're supposed to be though, like we're supposed to be huge. No, I mean like huge compared to a normal person, but you talk about like a main blade tank or something, that's Oh, they're supposed oh. to be like 
They're supposed to be bigger than a space marine, which is already like 10 yeah. meters tall. No, they're not 10 meters tall. Oh, it's like eight. It's like eight. It's like eight. No, no. Eight feet it's something tall. ridiculous. They're not, they're not eight meters tall. They'd be 24 feet until like 25 feet tall. I don't remember the I don't remember the fucking <laughs> measurements. I'm not I'm not imperial Mr. or metric or whatever it is. Lore master. You don't even know the lore. You don't know the lore. You you are the lore. <laughs> <laughs> I literally wrote every important thing in 40k ever. I but am Gav. I am 40k. All right, whatever. It is three meters tall. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna. I don't even know what you're doing. I'm. Oh, brother. Oh, yes. Good work. Good work, my friend. Good work. Blah. Blah. <laughs> I'm gonna unblock this yes. door, and then we're gonna open that door, brother. Then we're gonna kill slay some tyranids. I, I just want to feel loved. You know, I want to feel like a. a, a I want to feel like a space friend that's nurtured in All his right, relationship careful. and loved. Be them. careful. We got things to do, places to see, people to go. This looks like a good position up here. Okay, there are many bad guys. I am scared for my life. You just stay with your back to the door right here. Oh, no, that's, that's the big boy. That's the big boy. Why is he here. big? <laughs> Why is he scary? Oh, oh, they're behind us. They're behind us. Oh, oh, oh. Zelda, oh I'm pressing I've done all the buttons. I am I'm pressing all the buttons. so fast. That's Critical terrible. frenzy. Cooldown engaged. Damn. I gotta say, the assault specialist is a lot of fun. Yes, it is. Oh, behind. I need to activate this, because they'll keep coming. You do it. You do it. Uh, I'll watch your back. Thanks, mate. All right. Bird. Get back up Heretic. to the top. I thought that... Oh, we should close that door. We're really dumb. We're really bad at this game. I'm destroying. <laughs> I'm destroying. Oh, they're coming. They're so quiet. Coming, oh, coming, my coming, God. coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tell me when you start dropping a little bit low. I'm I mean, okay I, I can right see now, it, actually. but... Uh, you're fine. It's good. Alright, alright, we're doing it. We're doing it big. But, what, what are we doing? Uh... There we go. Are you getting this, this cinematic? Not cinematic, but the uh, announcement? Oh! Place the data transmitter. Okay, all we gotta do is... We can heal up. I might, I might switch weapons, actually. Just to get something new. ...to Grandmaster Valiel, so that he can triangulate the location of the ancient ship. Let's try a storm bolter. It's at least really it's satisfying. Aspects? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready to go back in. Let us charge in, a brother. Yawning chasm. <laughs> as it as it were. Hmm. Okay. Open, please. Thank you, sir. Place the auger primaris. All right, and now we are going back all the way the way we came. You see where we're going? Yeah, just directly, I, the room, like, directly. Oh, I see. It's not that far away, actually. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it, man. We can do this. I'm not trying to jink us. Jinx us. We just have we to might believe. No, ah! Dude, you said that way too soon. Oh, <laughs> shoot, shoot through me, brother, and around me, and above me and below me, but not through me. Yeah, that shield is, like, primo, man. You just bring that shield up, they just slam on the shield, and then you just slam them. A lot of slamming going on. Slamming salmon. Are you intentionally quiet? I'm figuring out where we're going, mate. I, I thought you were adding suspense to mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, I'm like getting freaked out now. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go to the... What the... What is an auger primaris anyway? And you know what? That's that's one of the ones that's... Uh... This was the first reference to primaris marine, for sure. Primus, actually. Whoopsie, my bad. Oh, yeah, oh, you're right. It is Primus, not Primaris. I'm sure it's some sort of, like, um... I mean, it's a beacon. Yeah, like some sort of super auspex. That brings all the boys to the yard. Damn right. That's better, better than, than yours. Mm. Man, I could teach you. But I'm you're gonna have to charge. charge. Well, I'd, I would charge for you, for sure. Like, you're definitely not getting this. Oh! Watch out for my stick. I feel like our romance is blossoming here on the field of battle. It always does. Come closer. Let me help you open that door behind you. <laughs> oh, Put God! 
All right, we're gonna plop some heals down. Oh man, might have been premature. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been called that before. I've still, I've been trying to get this like whole phase thing going. What, like 360 no scope Call of Duty M40A3 phase? Dude, oh my god, that was all one thing, wasn't it? Oh my. Um, oh yeah, my like, god, you, like you jump on top of them and explode everywhere. Yeah. I mean, have you used your blank at all? Your no, I've been trying to. Every time I do, it goes bam, 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 bam. You gotta point at an enemy or on the ground, like how to use it. Use it right now. You scrub. No, that's too far away. Actually, you might, use... you might have to use it against enemies. Yeah, I think you need to be looking directly at an enemy, and you'll blink right on top of them. Oh, like this? Oh god. <laughs> wow, that is epic. You're really far away from me now. I wanted to test <laughs> it. I'm coming. Why are you, why are you even playing? That's his most fun ability. How have you not been using that? You have a doobie on you, by the way. I, I was trying to. I don't believe you. Believe me. Eat my Narthesium, you dick! Where'd you go? I'm below you. I'm below you. Oh, <laughs> below me, huh? Uh, uh, get down here, you nerd. We must place the Brother, my primaries. stamina is low. Of course it is. Alright. Come on. I have placed it. Alright, we gotta hold on. We gotta hold on. We got a bunch of them coming. God, I can't get down there fast enough. Don't so, worry. You kill them all. I'll be there soon. So yeah. <laughs> That's the longest staircase in the history of fucking oh, Warhammer 3000. <laughs> I've been, I've been heresied. Oh god, oh god. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Oh god, he's really mean. I don't like him. Oh, he's mine. You just he- oh, right. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, we Yo, we need to kill these- oh my god! Shoot them, kill them! Murder them! Oh, I'm dead! I'm dead! I didn't heal myself in time, I'm bad! Oh, I died too! What?! I died too! Oh my god, <laughs> we're so we bad at this it. game, dude. We jinxed it, it's we're, the hardest game in the world. we're like six bolt guns and they all murdered us. Oh my god! Auto guns oh. or whatever. Wow, that... But like, what I don't understand is I was blocking at the end of it and it still just ended up murdering me through my block. Yeah, because you have just a little, sh you have a little gauntlet you put up. I definitely I blame you. You should have blinked on them and murdered them all. You could have killed them. Dude, I pressed face. 2 and it and it didn't blink to them. I swear to god. I had it, it recycled the thing and it didn't even blink to them. I was right. pissed. It said 30 <laughs> seconds. Alright, so we're terrible. That's been established. Overall impressions about what's been changed so far? Uh, Go ahead and press next so that it doesn't, uh, we don't hear people, things like screeching ass the whole time. We'll, we'll talk. Alright. Um, okay. The oh, oh. Yeah, why don't we just go back to menu? You know what? Look what you've done. Look no, what you've done. It's totally I'm your sorry. Fault, dude. I'm sorry to everyone who's watching right now. <laughs> Indy Pride doesn't know the lore. <laughs> he didn't know scope at all. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Um, I don't know, I mean like, you know what, Belial, you gotta calm the fuck down, man. Shut the hell up. Interrogator Chaplain, what does that even mean? Alright, I'm going okay. to menu. Go to menu. Yeah, me too. We have um, genes. So, impressions? I don't know, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it because we were playing together. If had this been solo, I would have been like, okay, okay, alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, that scared me. It scared the shit out of me. Like, I, I, I don't think I would have been as stoked on it. Okay, so, a couple things. Customization is nice, right? Like, if you've got people to play with, and I've said this before, you got people to play with on Space Hulk Deathwing, the game can be really fun. When you're <laughs> talking with someone that enjoys the same kind of stuff you do, when you're friends with somebody, obviously that's going to make whatever game you're playing better, even if it's a bad game. I don't think Space Hulk Deathwing is a bad game, but nothing in Enhanced Edition that I've seen so far, as much as I like the customization, as much as I like being able to change how I look, I mean, that's going to be cool. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> that, that, that gives people who really love this kind of game uh, the replayability that maybe they're looking for. The, a reason right. to come back. Um, I am not going to be encouraged to spend another 50 runs on this game to unlock some cool skins. It's just not going to happen. I think that the things that this game does well, it does really well. The atmosphere, the map designs themselves... The going from these really tight corridors, choke pointing gameplay to sprawling temples and just seeing all the different ships that are inside of Space Hulk, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. In terms of the actual pure gameplay elements, I just don't think 
it has the it's nailed the combat enough for me to like really love it so mm -hmm. yes i'm absolutely down like once a month or so maybe jump on this game do some runs with a friend it's fun if you have never played this game before and you were thinking about getting it now is probably a better time to get into it yeah, but definitely. I don't I don't know that it's gonna have what you're looking for if you're looking to spend 50, 100, 500 hours in a game. It might oh. give you a single playthrough, but then again, it's not a particularly expensive game either. Um, I don't actually know what Enhanced Edition is selling for right now. Um, but again, this is a free update too, so if you, you don't have to buy anything extra. If you add Space Hulk, it automatically upgrades to Space Hulk Deathwing Enhanced Edition. So if you want to give a 40k game a shot that it has a unique atmosphere, I think that there are definitely some good things about the game. Overall, I don't think the gameplay is enough to make me want to just like keep playing it over and over, like Vermintide or Total War Warhammer, some of the other games that I play. Right. I definitely think it's like, like, like we both have said, like it's one of the better 40k games out there. It's just and there's not a lot to choose. Which from. Which is a little game. bit disappointing. Right. Um, God, it, it it's so disappointing because it's such a cool universe. But I mean, like I'm looking at some of these things, like okay, the ultimate adornment makes the sword kind of like okay to look like god tier like it's like it's super high damage so it looks like obviously they want you to play through and unlock some stuff and it makes your character way more able to kind of outlast situations because it's like you can increase the reliability of the assault cannon so it doesn't jam on you all the time and stuff like that so yeah i think that's all really cool but I, like like i've said before and like you just said to echo your sentiment if I'm not going to play with like you or like a team of folk, it's just going to sit in my in my Steam queue. Um, it, I, I think it's 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 worth it if you want an atmospheric, semi horror um, take on on a game like uh, uh, Left 4 Dead or or Vermintide. I think it, I think it scratches that itch. I just don't think I, I would. I I can't see myself sinking hours after hours into this game unless it's with a dedicated group of people. We say every Thursday is our fucking our death hole or Deathwing day. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair analysis there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the new Space Hulk Enhanced Edition version of Deathwing. Um, I'll probably return every so often to play this game because I think that it is a blast with friends. But mm -hmm. blast in short doses is probably the yeah, best way I can say it. I can even I can even smell my computer like is okay with the thought of just small doses because I can hear, I can feel <laughs> the heat just like singeing my legs Emanating right now. Emanating from it, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I guess uh, we will talk to you later. Indie Pride, signing out for now. Peace out, guys. Later, guys.